Hello, welcome everybody to introduction to the town hall um, first workshop in 6 June. Um, <clears throat> today, uh, this video will be about um, describing the proposal and their uh, deliverables and um, the roles and some kind of resource allocation. There won't be exact allocations, but it will give some kind of ability to understand what's the limit and what is the capacity to and deliver some of these assets. Um, I, the information is on the report, but if I zoom out, then on the bottom, you will see the more relevant looks related to town halls. So we have the intersect town hall planning in GitHub, where you can see our open activity of board of results. Then also up, going to update the intersect town hall playbook over the time less like it at the beginning, but <clears throat> this gives like a context of um, how did we get devoted and what, what we have proposed to this um, community to deliver. And on the right side, the schedule. So today uh, we have on this Thursday and the next session is planned on next week. And after that, we have not yet decided um, when the, the town hall planning session and then and that, event itself will be, but actually we know now that, that this month's town hall will be 16th, and you can see it on 25. Um, but we also are able to decide and change the plan and when do we meet. <clears throat> Coming back to on top of here, here is like deliverables and resources. So main deliverables we need to get done is on the administration side, and um, like we need to define roles. This is something I think is going to emerge over time as we do stuff. Uh, a schedule that we slightly already started, um, uh, but still the full schedule is uh, until the end of year is unclear. And uh, then figure out the uh, clear communication channels. And uh, right now we have this interesting town hall channel, but there might be more um, that we need, but we have not yet know about. Um, and then most of the time, like and rewards, will go to this documentation. And, and in general, I think all the members who even join today who will start to contribute will be, I will, as coach, consider us like a town hall work group member. And that, that can be uh, like part of another role, like publicists, town hall planners. Or facilitators, and like I mentioned, there might be another roles that emerge from this. <clears throat> mm. So, as a schedule, when I, mean, I mentioned that previously, we have these um, workshop sessions, like right now, uh, these are happened twice per week, where we try to cover as much information and prepare our action items for the final town hall. And these are rewarded around 873 ADA per week. So it uh, uh, seems like a large amount, but this is not just facilitation, but this is encompassing all that we are about to create from here. <clears throat> and then is the question do we also want participation report? And uh, which is actually, I'm going to bring it up right now and, and so that everybody in the recording can see. Prepare the simple Google form. Um, usually, for uh, in Swarm or the services we open, we like to recognize people on chain. Although on chain, you will only recognize by your wallet address, and uh, nobody kind of knows you who is that person. And um, uh, so, uh, but we also have like uh, another record list which I'm not sure if we make it like intersect member list or should it be private yet, um, but then a public name would be, be needed. And then also we're gonna, those who are in Zoom and, and want to be recognized then uh, type your also the Zoom name so that, that we know who to associate the volatiles. This is a one-time registration, so you don't have to do it every time and you don't have to do it at all if you don't want to be recognized or share your information. Uh, if you don't uh, provide your wallet address, that's also okay. This way we can still keep uh, recording so many um, 
participants are interested in general and kind of be recorded and maybe in future, like, okay, I find I'm going to add it and I'm going to check record too. Um, what we're going to do with these uh, records, right now it's just mainly reporting purposes, um, but we have experience using that as a, like a meta, meta, meritocratic um, weights on decisions or um, use this to find out specific people who are more engaged in our work and to record this thing. And then if there are any disputes, then add more, say, usually. <clears throat> Um, yeah, but back to this. So once we have these workshop sessions, another one is planning session. And this is like we call the town hall where we crunch down, go to the stand up list. This is more of um, even the people in here can join these calls in, in future time. Right now, it's more like a, a closed group where uh, most active and, uh, contributors will be. But if you uh, show yourself, that you're interested in hosting, facilitating, planning, documenting, any of these activities that needed to be everywhere to, to get the downhold done, um, then you're also welcome to join these sessions and we will be recognized accordingly. <clears throat> Another uh, role of publicist, and uh, these are basically sharing out the downhauls and coordinating with the um, work group members and, and finding people who want to share information to, uh, in the downhaul events themselves and a bunch of documentation remarks that uh, we find very important like uh, event summary enough uh, data should be covered here <clears throat> um, yeah any on, on the administration chart like, uh, skip three uh, action items this will be looking at uh, more later time in like a few months, but this will be then um, interesting town hall proposal for the future, uh, closeout report and the town hall playbook that I mentioned. That kind of goes through these processes that were in the session. Um, yeah, that would be about uh, this town hall proposal and deliverables and a bit of uh, the resource planning here. And, um, if you're interested, join into the town hall sessions and link is in the description below and see you on the next call.